Hello everyone. Uh, so today we are going to start with a new lecture that is a topic that is back propagation algorithm. So back propagation algorithm करने से पहले what we are going to understand we are going to understand the back propagation network. Now back propagation network architecture we are going to learn in this session and we are going to study how the subscriptions how the computation takes place at the input layer at the hidden layer and at the output layer. So before starting with this, we need to understand the architecture and the denotions and notations we are going to use in the network. So basically, we have three layers. First thing, we have this particular layer called as the input layer. Second layer is the hidden layer, and third layer is the output layer. Now, firstly, we need to understand that I we use the denotions I, I one, O, I one. I H one, O H one, I O one, and O O one. What does this mean actually? The subscription I, the subscription H, the subscription O denotes the layer. Okay. So, second thing, this I denotes the input. This O denotes the output. This I denotes the input. This O denotes the output. Input output. and this one denotes the number of neuron okay so how we are going to understand this notation as input of input layer at the first neuron okay input of the output layer at the first neuron similarly when we talk about hidden layer we have input of the hidden layer at the first neuron output at the hidden layer of the first neuron similarly output layer input at the output layer of first neuron and output of output layer at the first neuron so this is how we are going to understand the denotations now in the input layer we have l number of neurons so we can say we have l nodes in hidden layer we have m number of nodes in output layer we have n number of nodes so that is why we have defined it here that is i i1 to i i n o i1 se lekar o i l tak y l tak because we have l number of nodes similarly for hidden layers as we have m number of nodes so we are going to say hidden layer par hamare paas n number of nodes hai so we are going to understand that these are h1 h2 till hn similarly output of hidden layer at h1 output of hidden layer at second neuron and output at hidden layer at mh neuron mh node similarly we are going to see the output layer we have n number of nodes so from 1 2 till n okay so i hope this is clear to you all now next thing is we understand what is weight now we have two denotions of link that is one the input layer is connected to the hidden layer for this we denote the weight with v okay and the link that connects the hidden layer to the output layer is denoted as w so here we are going to define it as v i j agar main i ki baat karti hu to all the neurons at the input layer and j is the all the neurons the output layer similarly w j k so w j k is you define karega what it will be defined as neurons at the hidden layer to the neurons at the output layer so this is the definition or i would say not definition but this is the denotations which we are need to understand the network so moving further we are going to do what we are going to compute we are going to do the computation and see how the computation is done at the input layer at the output layer and at the hidden layer so when we say input uh, computation at the input layer we understand we have a input and we have to calculate the output of input layer then we have to calculate the input at the hidden layer and then we have the output at hidden layer next thing we need to calculate the input at output layer and then the output at the 
output layer. So moving further, this we have already understood that we have denoted input layer with i, and this is till n because n number of nodes. In output, we have one to n because of n number of nodes, and in hidden layer, we have m number of nodes, which is denoted by h. Now, input layer computation. के लिए what we are going to do, we are considering the linear activation function. We know that linear activation function has a formula that is, the output will be equal to g i. Where this is O output is equal to G I is input where G is ten phi and ten phi is equal to one. So the output will be equal to input. Earlier slides where we have made this computation, we understand it. And again we are working it out. Now uh, for input layer, we are going to say this is what when we are going to calculate the output at input layer. So output at input layer, what will happen? We have already considered the linear activation function. Just my output is equal to input R I. So that is why the output at the input layer will be equal to the input at the input layer only. Now, hidden neurons are connected by synapse to the input neurons denoted by V I J. That means weight are denoted between I T and the J T neuron. This I have told you. This is this is the connecting part. This is the weight synapse of Connection between the input layer and the hidden layer denoted by V I J. So that means if I am saying V one one, so that means I am considering the weight link between the first neuron of the input layer to the first node of the output layer. Sorry, hidden layer. Okay, second neuron of input layer to the first neuron of hidden layer. So that is why V two one, and so on and so forth. So now what we are going to do is we have calculated the output at the input layer. Now we need to calculate the output at hidden layer and input at the hidden layer. How we are going to calculate? We are going to consider the sigmoidal function at the hidden layer. So the computation will be depending on the sigmoidal function, sigmoidal or squash function. We need to remember the formulas. The formula for sigmoidal is output will be equal to one divided by one plus e raised to the power minus lambda i. Okay, but यहाँ पे what we have done, we have used the denotations. Why denotations? We are considering that P F is any neuron in the hidden layer on which we are doing the calculation. Okay, so P is what P can be from one to M because we have M number of neurons in this nodes in this output hidden layer. So what we are going to get is one divided by one plus e raised to the power minus lambda. Instead of i, what we are doing, we have to calculate it and compare it the i with the threshold value also. So that is why, if you remember earlier sessions, we have done that the i ko ham threshold value se compare karte hain and then we calculate the output. So that is why what we are doing, we are saying input minus theta by H P H P. We are considering the input at the hidden layer of the P H neuron. Similarly, the threshold. And this is the denotations. O H P means output of hidden layer at the P H neuron. I H P means input of the P H hidden neuron. And theta H P is the threshold of the P H hidden neuron. Now moving further, we need to calculate the input of the hidden neurons. Input of the hidden layer neurons. That will be what. जब भी हम input calculate करते हैं, we calculate the input weighted sum. If you remember the earlier sessions, so what was it? Earlier denotations where we were using i is equal to summation x i w i j. So here, same way, me what we are using i h p will be used as input layer. Sorry, hidden layer. Me input of p h neuron will be equal to v i p multiplied by o i. What is this o i? This is output of input layer because this is the input for hidden neuron, hidden layer. Which will be multiplied by the weight plus again weight multiplied by output of input neuron input layer, and this is denoting as one i p i one two p i two and so on and so forth. This will go till v l p. Why v l p? Because we have l number of new nodes in the input layer, so that is why l. This is the last neuron. This is the Last neuron L is the last neuron in the input layer, so that is why where P is equal to one to M. This I have already denoted why P is equal to one to M because we have 
n number of nodes in the hidden layer and we are considering p to be any neuron on which we are considering the calculation in the hidden layer now denoting the matrix how we are going to denote the matrix jab hum ise matrix form mein denote karenge to this will be input of hidden layer will be equal to v transpose of output at the input layer and this is denoted as l by l because there are l number of nodes in the input layer so this is oi okay now moving further this is the small diagram we have used that is uh, this is the pth neuron of the hidden layer any pth neuron and we have i i1 o i1 okay this is input at input layer output at input layer and this v is the connecting weight so this is how we have calculated the, the earlier matrix this is the one okay now treating the threshold and hidden layer how we are going to treat the threshold and neuron layer uh, sorry hidden layer we are going to now generalize it we are going to say that output of hidden layer will be any uh, this matrix vector will be shown and this is 1 1 plus e raised to power minus lambda i hp minus theta hp this i have already told you why we are using this so this is the output at the hidden layer so thank you for today's session and we will be uh, doing the next output layer computation in my next session so uh, that's all for today's